one of the greatest and most outstanding players ever to pull on a Celtic jersey was Jimmy Johnston, simply known as Jinky by the fans. He brought not only great skill to the game, but gave the supporters what they wanted. Finally, a good ball to Johnston, and this is where it really happens for Celtic. Johnston going through the middle like that. Kenny Dogrish. Connolly. And it must be the ball. There's equalised out by Jimmy Johnston. All of his all in the penalty area. Always a Celtic fan, Jimmy made his debut in March 1963. He impressed Jimmy McGrory, and the youngster played in his first cup final against Rangers two months later. His skillful play was to become his trademark, endearing him to the Celtic faithful. And this is Johnston. Johnston. Celtic fans are loving him. I can remember sweating. Pales of water uh, the night before a, a Celtic Rangers game. You, you were going through it all the time. I don't know how you actually you, you could go and play because you hardly slept. Just thinking about oh, if this happens or that happens, or you get the ball. You pitch yourself in front of the goal, the ball coming across. You stick in there. That's the one. All these things going through your head, and then when you turned up at the game, it was you were still going. You never could sort of a calm down just until you got onto the park. Johnson. Sullivan towering above him. Now you see why Celtic decided to play this little boy today. To Murdoch. Through to Hughes. Oh. Jimmy won his first championship medal in 1966 under the guidance of manager Jock Steen. It was to be the springboard for the most successful period in the club's history. Clark. Number six to Chemmers, an intelligent pass. Chemmers with McLean. And here's a chance for Lennox. Johnston. And it's a goal. Goal by Johnston. In that time, that era when it all happened, when we had the, that great run, the, the nine championships, uh, you know, it was. The difference was how much your family they were. How well did they go on? I, I cannot remember any serious arguments or fighting or whatever. You had the, the, the odd wee brick brick, but it was mainly all in good humour and it was all like Mickey taking. It was a team full of very, very strong personalities. Um, we worked hard, enjoyed ourselves hard, we trained hard, we did everything hard. Nothing was ever a friendly game or nothing was ever a friendly matter to us. But um, nobody else was allowed in. It, well, it was difficult for other people to break into it. And even to this day, to be quite honest with you, there is a, a real close bond. I think it's a bond that's got even closer. That closeness and understanding made the team almost invincible on the park, allowing Jimmy to exhibit his immense ability, which wore down and often demoralised their rivals. It means so much to them. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, we. We, to us, it's a game. We play it. We don't see the players. We go in our way. We go in, we, 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 they were training. We back into the park, and then we look forward to the next game. These people have got to go home. They've got to go into their pubs. They've got to take all the stick. They've got to go to their work on the Monday. And I know a lot of them used to miss the work purposely. They don't buy the papers. <laughs> That's what they're Monday. You know, and we get that feeling for them. We used to see them. Some of them used to be greeting, you know, stunning, you know, look what you've done to us, you know. But it's something really, really, it's very, very special to them. But tears were the furthest thing from the Celtic fans' minds when the league was to be decided at Ibox on the last day of the season in 1967. Jimmy was again to be the hero of the 90 minutes. Lennox trying to get it in. No! It's a goal, a goal for Celtic, yes! Johnston has scored. Oh. All to Johnston. Johnston! Sutton save. Into Johnston. Johnston. 
and a goal by Johnston that makes it two by him and that makes the score Rangers one Celtic two with 16 minutes to go right out of the blue strong as a, as a wee horse I mean the punishment that, that wee man took on the pitch was incredible but he had the power and the strength to get up and do something about it The driving force of the team was manager Jock Steen, who had the ability to treat each player individually, no matter how diverse their character. He once said his greatest achievement was keeping Jimmy in the game for so long, due to the winger's volatile temperament. Here's Johnston. Oh, it's up for Johnston. And Johnston, what a great day by Stati. A great effort by Johnston. In comes Green. Kimberly scored a great goal. He's done it. The victory that day was the pinnacle of Jimmy's career, during which he won nine championship medals in a row, four Scottish Cup medals, and five League Cup medals. He is surely one of the most memorable footballers ever to play for Celtic for his skill, entertaining style of play and his sheer will to win. Oh, this is brilliant stuff from Johnston. Johnston, Gordon coming over. Johnston. Johnson. So difficult to take the ball from Johnson. Here's Douglas. That's a good ball. Despite receiving accolades from the top players in the world, Jimmy still considers the most important part of Celtic is the supporters, who stick with the club through thick and thin. Everything that's happened in the Celtic part is all due to them, and I've said that and said it all along. It's their money that's built the stand, it's their money that is, is buying all the goods, and it's their money that's buying the players, and I've got to put my hands up, and every, everything that has been asked to them, they have done it, and I'm not surprised, because they're, they're magnificent. And I've laughed with them and I've grew up with them. They've been to all the best places in the world. They've been played in all the, the stadiums in the world with them. I know how they feel. And I, to myself, I'm part of them. And I know what their feelings are. So I'm not doing this for effect. It's really genuine love for the people who are there. And what they gave me.